But right now, we're going to look at the properties of alcohol, or, as we said, ethanol, that make it such an excellent solvent. So, the properties of it are why we use it as a solvent. Um, okay, so, basically, it's really good at dissolving organic molecules. Um, it can be used in preparing a lot of cosmetics and um, other medicines, sorry, and medicines, because particularly stuff that goes in the outside of the body, external preparations, because it dissolves some organic substances. There are lots of organic substances. Now remember, an organic substance is something that is made of um, carbon and hydrogen. And some of this stuff doesn't dissolve regularly. So it's, it's excellent as a solvent for um, carb, uh, organic substances. Um, and it basically do this because this end is nonpolar. So let's have a quick look. Let's just, the crazy thing about ethanol is that it is partially polar, or sorry, partially nonpolar, and partially polar. And the reason is here we have um, a negative end, and here we have a positive end, just like we did in water, but with this part, it's got the same, so that, look, that end will be fairly positive, that'll be fairly positive, that's going to be fairly positive, that's going to be fairly positive, and that's going to be fairly positive. So because they're fairly positive, but it's the same all the way around, it means you've got two parts of the molecule. You've got one part of the molecule which is polar, and another part of the molecule, molecule which has an even distribution. So this half is non-polar. Um, a lot of our organic chemicals, because they'll look like this, say, and each one of these dashes is a hydrogen, so hydrogen. So because they all look like this, and see how they're uniform all the way around, they're the same all the way around. So because they're the same all the way around, you've you need something like it, um, and that's because like dissolves like. So a Non -po sorry, polar end. Non polar end comes and will dissolve that. But if we've got something like, um, I don't know, iodine, which we'll get to in a minute, which is a negative ion, it will allow, like, it will dissolve in the polar end. Okay, so basically it dissolves substances which are immiscible in water. And now we are on the iodine. So iodine is actually non polar. Um, and I just said it a second ago, it wasn't, I was thinking of something else. I was thinking of salt, salt sodium chloride. Iodine itself is this, um, so it's two ion, iodine atoms joined together. You'll see that, so therefore it's got the same distribution around it. There's no, um, that's not going to dissolve in water because that is non-polar. So some products, such as antiseptic solutions, will want iodine dissolved in it. Um, now, these won't dissolve in water, so we need to mix it in ethanol. And here, you can also use acetone as well. But we're not going to focus on this. We're going to focus on ethanol. Um, so tinctures, essentially, these are medicines which use alcohol dissolve, to dissolve the substance, and it's because they don't dissolve in water. There's another reason we use it, and this is actually probably the coolest, is that it is a really volatile molecule. Um, so what that means is it evaporates quickly, okay? So if we have perfume, for example, and this atom here is our, so there's the skin, this atom is the smelly perfume, it goes on, and that's an atom, I mean molecules. Oh. Uh, so this is our smelly perfume, and if I put this, and these are our, ethanol molecules, what will happen is we'll spray it on and then these guys will evaporate very rapidly while the smelly stuff, the perfume, stays on. That's where the volatility comes in. If you want to put something on skin and then have it be the only thing left on the skin, alcohol is perfect. And that's because it has a really low vaporize, a vapor pressure, which means it turns to gas really easily essentially. That's all that means. Um, so vaporization of alcohol leaves 
just the active components on the skin. And that's really important. By the way, it's not just perfume this works for, this works for all sorts of things, such as medicines. If you want to put a, um, an antiseptic on the skin, but you want it to stay there, you don't want it to be, you want to pour it on, but you don't want it to then be, keep dripping off. You would put it, dissolve iodine in, um, in alcohol. You spread the iodine across, and all the alcohol will evaporate away, leaving just the iodine on the skin to keep that area clean. All right, that's it. See you later.